So I want to look at uh, Jesus is the King and this mismatching dialogue between Jesus and Pontius Pilate. And I think on the one hand, it's just a dialogue about where they're at, but on the other hand, it's incredibly meaningful about the Christian message. And my theory really about Pilate going into this is his mentality is, if you like, a Game of Thrones mentality. If you've watched the series, the Game of Thrones is all saying, you know, one person can be the king and lots of people are fighting and everyone kind of accepts that only one person could be the king in the end and you it's a high stakes game because if you lose you're going to be have to kill because you can't have two people fighting to do it so it's a high stakes game and um, only one person can win and and i think Pilate just accepts that and and he's on team emperor team rome and he gets presented on a charge sheet that this man is, says he's the king of the Jews. And this isn't a kingship, which is like a Pakuit kingship, which the emperor has sanctioned. No one has sanctioned Jesus. So he's starting with a mentality that there is a Game of Thrones. If this man, Jesus, is playing the Game of Thrones, um, I've got to have him killed, which is why the, the, the um, Jews presumably have brought him to me. But I think he wants to check up. And he wants to check up because blatantly the guy in front of him is not like military threat number one. You know, where is his armour? Where are his weapons? Where is his armies? Um, it just doesn't happen. Um, uh, so he asks, he says, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, well, are you saying this or is someone else saying this? And the pilot's kind of frustrated. Well, of course someone else is saying this. I don't care. It's your nation and your priests have handed me over to me. And they said, you're the, you're the king. And Jesus just said, oh, yeah, well, my, my kingdom's not of this world. Um, oh, my kingdom's not of this world. Well, Pilate, you know, he's thrown by this. Because his assumption is, I, either Jesus is king or the empress is king. But then he's presented with this and then I think he's trying to discern whether Jesus is a threat and I think his next phase is okay doesn't seem to be saying he's the king just want to check up on this um, if I let him off I've got to find a reason so he kind of says well what did you do what did you do and then Jesus I'm going to read it out says um, he said my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world my servants and followers would have fought up against you so they wouldn't have me over to the Jews but my kingdom is not like that not from this place. And do you remember that this does happen in Gethsemane? You know, one or two people want to fight for Jesus. That's, if you like, Game of Thrones land. Those soldiers are coming to address him. We're going to fight for him. So one versus the other. And that's kind of the, the, the world of Judas Maccabeus and that revolt. It's a world of other Jew, Jewish revolts against Rome. Uh, but Jesus is saying, no, I'm not from that place. And then um, Pilate says, so surely you, you, therefore you are not a king. And Jesus replied, you're the one who is saying I'm the king. And I suppose for Jesus saying, you know, you're the one who's troubled about me being a king or not. I'm talking about the kingdom of God. That's got nothing to do with kings. It's got nothing to do with the Game of Thrones. Now, on one level, that is not a threat at all. It's a kind of paradigm of not being a threat. Um, so, uh, because, you know, Jesus is not about to bring a military army. But the funny thing is, and this may be where Pilate came to in the end, there actually is something deeply threatening. Because weirdly, at least if everyone's playing the Game of Thrones, they accept the same rules of the game. Everyone's trying to be top dog. It may be that you become top dog, but we're, we're, we're kind of accepting the rules of the game. If you play in, if you like, World Cup football, you know, we, we all go there and we want England to do really, really well. And if they get out of the group stages and who, who's the best team, everyone's playing the game of football. And you really, really want England to win, but you accept it if it turns out that in fact Brazil win or Germany win or Portugal win or whoever. Because that's the game, it's the game of football and you know there can only be one winner and you've gone in. And it's as if like Jesus, uh, Jesus is saying, yeah, you're trying to play Football World Cup here, but, um, but I'm just going to play, uh, we're going to make it chess. You know, chess has got as much to do with it, or, or, chess, or not even that, he's saying, I'm going to do about sharing a meal. So I'm like, what? You know, we're all here to, to play football, and he's just not, not in that zone. And he's actually saying, the thing you're doing, working for the emperor, being part of this empire game, is meaningless. And actually, that is a deeply threatening thing. 
because it's threatening the entire foundation of what Pilate has been doing all his life, which is to get up the cursus and aurum and but build himself up into a very good thing. And maybe, you know, okay, he hasn't become emperor himself, but blimey, he's done very, very well. Jesus saying, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, that's an entirely meaningless thing to have done. And if you take that seriously, that is a big threat. So I suppose we're not following the Roman emperor, but what are the rules of the game of life we have? And quite often people will have sort of undercurrent rules. It's kind of good to earn more salaries. If you're a barrister, it's kind of good to be a QC. It's a kind of good thing. Oh, you could even have in a church, you know, well done. Oh, that will go about good and faithful servant. You have become an archdeacon or a bishop. You know, oh, well done. But, um, and, and you're whatever you are, you'll become the head teacher. You know, whatever, you, you know, you've made it. You're the top doctor in there. You're a consultant, whatever. There are all these kind of ladders, actually, entirely meaningless. It's just about you. God, living with him in eternity, and it's still deeply countercultural, but that's actually what it is for Jesus to be the king and us to live in his kingdom. It means basically just bypassing all the normal rules of success because they are meaningless.